Hello, my dear sweet Cancers. This is your reading for Cancer, Sun, Rising Moon, and Venus and Cross Watchers for May of 2021. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. This reading is a general read. It can relate to general life or love life, career, business, finance, whatever message your spirit wants to put forth. Okay, and if you'd like a personal reading, please just see the description box below. All my information is there. Make sure you subscribe, share, and comment. Hit that notification bell so you are notified when I upload videos, whenever I have giveaways and shout-outs to my winners, and when I do my free reading Wednesdays. Okay, so... We are going to go ahead and get into this. If this is not your story, make sure you do check out your sun, rising moon, and Venus signs. All four of them as they become available. Okay, Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. What are the blessed messages for my dear Cancers for May of 2021, please? Ooh, we have the full card. That is Aquarius energy. And we have the sun. Leo energy. This already looks wonderful here. You are definitely going on a new journey. You are going um, in a new direction, writing a new chapter that is going to bring you a lot of love, a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment here uh some of you may even be literally traveling to where the sun is just saying vacation time it could be very literal and we have the ten of wands so what i feel is that your struggles are coming to an end you have been really struggling a lot cancer a lot of responsibilities you've been shouldering a lot uh, some even in the workplace, you know, maybe you have a lot of responsibility to your employer. Okay, maybe you or maybe you run your own business, and you seem to have been trying to be doing a lone man show or whatever, and you have all the responsibilities, all the tasks to do, and it's just kind of wearing you down. But what I feel is that there is some kind of change. You're taking some kind of leap of faith here, and you are taking your business in a new direction. And even in love and romance, this can apply as well. That you've been struggling, meeting the wrong people. Um, you know, not meeting anybody that's on the same page as you, that wants the same things as you. Maybe not meeting anybody who is sincere. And you are at this place of, when am I going to find love? My dear friends, I feel as though that you are turning a page in May and it is going to bring you a lot of, of happiness and contentment here. And we have the King of Wands. You might be meeting a King of Wands. Okay, this King of Wands is full of passion, full of enthusiasm. Okay, he is very ambitious. Okay, he is a born leader as well. This could be the boss that you are dealing with. That you are taking things on a new path. Uh, for some of you, you might even be telling your boss where to shove it. You know what I'm saying? And taking the leap of faith and starting your own business. However, this resonates. But for some of you, I feel as though you are leaving the struggles behind and you're starting anew. And this new... But I'm feeling like this new path involves Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, involves fire, passion, love and romance. I mean, this is somebody who is going to set your heart on soul on fire, okay? You can even be taking on this energy of excitement, being excited about the next path that you are going on. Um, we have the Queen of Cups here. You know, this is very nurturing, very loving energy, okay? Very patient and understanding. 
it is like the two of you are coming together and you have this general understanding. You both want the same things. And I'm feeling double Leo here. So you could be dealing with a Leo, to be honest. But I'm feeling like this very strong pull, this strong magnetic pull. Okay. And it's like the king saying, let me take your burdens away. Let me help you. Okay. That could be general or love life. Let me help you with those burdens. Let me take some of the load off of you. Okay. Let me love you. Let me share my, I want to share my life with you. You don't have to struggle on your own anymore is what I'm getting. And this queen of cups here is, that's embracing the love. Okay. I feel this very strong, intuitive and spiritual connection between the two of you. Six of swords energy. So this is moving forward. You are definitely in a space of, Putting the past behind you. This is like you're moving from the, the struggles into something peaceful. This is, this is a lovely energy for you, Cancer. This is moving into peace, moving into harmony. Things are moving into balance. And I feel like that you have been very persistent. You have persevered. You have stuck it out. Okay? And now, now that you've stuck it out... You are being rewarded. You don't have to carry that burden anymore. You're starting in this new direction. You're starting this new exciting path. And you're coming together with somebody in a partnership and business, career, some, some creative endeavor or love and romance. You're coming together with somebody from true heart. We have the Five of Cups here. The Ten of Pentacles. But it seems like you're still grieving for something. And the Tower, Scorpio energy, Scorpio Aries energy. You have this wonderful outlook in May, but you're still grieving over a family situation or over some kind of stability that crashed down, okay? And let me tell you, the tower will not dismantle. A tower will not fall if it is something that is made out of beauty, something that is solid, something that was made, was built on a secure foundation, okay? The tower's not going to dismantle a beautiful union, whether it's business or personal, okay? So there were probably cracks in the foundation already. There were probably warning signs that, but I feel you trying to hang on. See, she's hanging on to that seal. It feels like you were trying to hang on to the memory of something that you once had, once, something that you thought was secure. But I'm feeling that was a false sense of security. The tower's falling, okay? And you're trying to hang on to it. And Spirit is saying, let it go. Release it. Because we have something very beautiful heading your way. Don't worry about it anymore. Let it go. You carried most of the responsibility in this connection to begin with. This connection, the security of this connection relied on you. Okay. Spirit is telling me you put in the work. You, the secu Everything relied on you. And after the tower falls... The healing begins. And here we have the Ten of Swords. We got another Ten. We have two Tens here. With Tens are endings. And Tens are endings so something new can begin. So you were stabbed in the back. You were hurt. 
maybe betrayed by somebody. This could be a friendship. You could have been betrayed by a business partner or a boss or somebody in the workplace. Whatever your scenario is. This is saying it's dead. It's over. This is like a death. Okay. To me, this is very similar to the death card. That it's it's over. It's done. The worst is behind you. And now it is time to leave that behind and move forward. Maybe you should do it this way. You know, leave all this pain behind. Take the steps forward. Progress forward. Because you've got the light at the end of the tunnel. The sun is definitely going to shine again. I think you've been through the worst of it. Or you will. If this hasn't happened yet, you know, the the worst will be over. It's It's let it go. Because you're going to have a lot of other options, a lot of upper, other opportunities, beautiful offers, beautiful opportunities here. That, and justice will be served. Okay? You are going to get your just rewards. Just as whoever stabbed you in the back will get what they deserve as well. And you will get what you deserve by... Moving forward with love and compassion and understanding. This is beautiful energy here. So let's see what's going on with love and romance. Let's see what the romance angels has to say about this scenario. See what the romance angels has for you. Keeping an open mind. I feel that what they are saying is don't hold on to something that's not working. Don't hold on to something that is doomed to fail anyhow. So you might be able to put a band-aid on this and keep the tower from falling right now, but it's only temporary because eventually this tower moment is going to happen. You can't avoid the tower. This is a life-changing event. This is something that, it, this is destiny stepping in. You can't avoid that. Just like you have um, two major arcana cards. You have the tower and then you got the new beginning that follows the tower. Okay. You got to keep an open mind. Because you deserve love. You don't deserve to be treated the way this person is treating you. You don't deserve to carry all the burdens yourself. You deserve true love. And the universe is bringing that love to you. And the one they're bringing to you could be the one. I know you thought this person was it. But there were red flags that maybe you didn't want to see or you fit, or you couldn't see. Maybe you wore blinders and you didn't. Maybe you saw them but you ignored them. Ignored the cracks in the foundation and thought, okay, I'll just put a band-aid over this and this will keep this together. It doesn't work that way. This is about releasing that. Allowing love to come in. Keep in an open mind because you do deserve love. There is this beautiful union that the universe is going to bring to you. So, and the one that the universe is going to bring to you could be the one. What was I just talking about? Red flags. With this person down here. The person that things are falling apart with. Paying attention to the red flags. They're there. They have been there. Okay. Now it's time to see them. And the honeymoon. This is about moving forward, moving into a better space. This is like Six of Swords energy. This is moving past 
all the trouble and turmoil and moving into happiness, harmony, balance, and peace. Okay. And this and it's about having trust and faith in the universe, having trust that things are going to work out. This is kind of going hand in hand with that open, keeping an open mind. <clears throat> there still might be an attraction here with the old person, but attraction's not always enough to keep something alive. Okay. Um, this new person that's coming in is definitely going to reignite and they are going to have romantic feelings. Absolutely. So what spirit is saying is let this go. Let this fall. Let, you know, just release this energy because the universe has something bigger and better for you. see if spirit wants to add anything to this any additional messages now this could be for general love romance career money whatever family See if there's any other messages from spirit here. Okay, success and growth. So I feel like that this is overcoming those obstacles and those barriers, overcoming what is keeping you holding on to a false foundation and be having success. When you release that, you have success. <clears throat> You're um, and in business and finance base chakra know that you're going to be successful your needs are going to be met and and you are going to be again we have success here so i feel as though for those of you that are wanting to know about your work situation maybe a a work or a business that seems to be falling apart just know that when you release that there's a new brand new opportunity heading your way that is a perfect match they is going to be very successful, but your needs are going to be met and beyond. I'm feeling success. I'm feeling <clears throat> abundance and growth. You just have to believe in it, believe in yourself, and trust in the new partner and trust in the universe. Okay, this is the messages I have for you, Cancer. I hope you found this helpful and useful. Again, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. And I will see you next time. Love you all. Blessed be.